In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace and peace of the Lord be with you all. Good morning, everybody. Let us call to mind our sins as we seek the Lord's compassion and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in his spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son, having conquered death, should pass over into the realm of heaven, grant, we pray, to your departed servants that with the mortality of this life overcome, they may gaze eternally on you, their creator and redeemer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, none of us lives for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. Why then do, we, do you judge your brother or sister? Or you, why do you look down on your brother or sister? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of God, for it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bend before me and every tongue shall give praise to God. So then each of us shall give an account of himself to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? I that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus, 
But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus addressed this parable to them. What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, will not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he does, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy. And upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman, having ten coins and losing one, would not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it? And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me because I have found the coin that I lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. Let's face it, we're all losers. We have all lost one thing or another. As children, often it was hats, mittens, lunch money, uh, backpacks, homework, etc. Most items were lost because of carelessness, forgetfulness, misplacement. Often there were of little consequence and easily replaced but sometimes what we lost was highly valued, expensive, irreplaceable. But who we lost was heartbreaking and the most devastating of all. A parent, sibling, family member, friend, teacher, or a pet. These life losses changed the way we viewed the world and redefined our place in it. And as adults, what we lose only gets bigger. We lose opportunities and jobs. We lose relationships we hold dear, self-respect and integrity. We lose ourselves to our own needs, addictions, or medical crisis. Sometimes it comes right down to the fact that we are lost. Our gospel today reassures us that when we are lost, there is someone who holds us in very great esteem, who loves us so completely, more than we love ourselves, that we are desperately searching for us. Needless to say, that someone is God. God who leaves no stone unturned, enjoying no rest for the weary in the search for us. And when we are finally found, when we are returned, to God. There is both relief and rejoicing. As God's children, we approach our loving Father with our deepest needs. For Pope Francis and all leaders of the church, may God continue to guide and instruct their hearts as they live in service for others. We pray to the Lord. For local government leaders, may God provide them with courage and stamina as they serve the community. We pray to the Lord. For the chronically ill, may the Holy Spirit bring comfort and healing to both their bodies and souls. We pray to the Lord. For those gathered here today, may God continue to bless our efforts to conform our lives 
to being his disciples. We pray to the Lord for all those who have died, especially those we remember now. May God grant them eternal rest. We pray to the Lord for Albert Martin, whom we remember especially at this Mass. And for what or for whom do we pray for today? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, grant these prayers we offer you today. May your guidance and peace renew us so that we might spread your word through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, fruit to the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, on these sacrificial offerings we present to you for the souls of your servants. And just as you bestowed on them the dignity of the Christian faith, Grant them also its reward through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ. For as one alone he accepted death so that we might all escape from dying. As one man, he chose to die, so that in your sight we might all live forever. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit 
to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks. He gave it to his friends and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, as we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, deacons, the religious, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, the martyrs, and with all the saints. We shall praise and exalt you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We pray the words that Jesus himself once prayed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress and anxiety, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith and courage of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. 
let us offer one another the sign of peace.
Let us pray. Through these sacrificial gifts which we have received, O Lord, bestow on your departed servants your great mercy. And to those you have endowed with the grace of baptism, grant also the fullness of eternal joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a nice day, everybody.